All right, let's draw some berries, leaves, and stems. Let's start with this. We'll call these Saskatoon berries. We pick a lot of these in the summer in Saskatchewan. Now, when you look at it, you can see all the Métis beadwork details. We won't draw those. We're only going to freehand this time all of the drawings on this page. So let's start by drawing this nice curvy line. So we'll go down and then around and through. And you can see at the end of that curvy line, there's a berry. So we'll make a berry there. Try and make them kind of the same size. They don't have to be exactly the same size. So, And then another berry here. And then another berry here. There's four berries on top. When you look at the picture, you can count four. And then one more berry here. Now when you draw the bottom berries, there are three, four if you count this one. Now you can draw those berries by going to, by finding the space in between the top berries right in here and go in the middle and draw your berry then at the end of the stem. Here's another space. Find the center. Draw another berry there. Same with this one. Find the space in the middle. Draw another berry. Then if you want you can draw some more. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as a reference photo. Now at the end of the berries, there's these tiny little leaves. Very tiny. And usually they're dried up by the time you get to pick the berry. They were part of the flower at one time. Now, so there is a picture of Saskatoon berries. Now let's make this blueberry and it starts with kind of an oval shape. So if you make an oval shape, bring it like that and across the bottom and then you'll see that there are uh, details of berries. We're not going to do all of those details but we will make the lines like this because it looks nice when there's some detail in there. And then I'll just do this. Kind of looks almost like a honeycomb, but it's not. It's going to be a blueberry. Or it could be a Saskatoon berry. Now, at the top, there are more little leaves. And now we're going to make the Dem. Actually, let's make a couple of little leaves coming this way and this way and here and here and then we'll make the stem. You can make it a little thicker if you want. And then there's a leaf here. You can make a guideline if you want and connect there. And then you can make another leaf if you want. We'll make a guideline there. They don't have to be exactly the same size. And you'll notice this one has a flower. So we'll put that flower there. You can start with a tiny circle and just make your way around the circle. And there's that flower. And I think that we should make a strawberry even though there's no strawberry on here. So let's do that. Strawberries kind of come down. They're almost like a triangle shape and up. And then they also have all of these nice little leaves around the bottom part. Okay, and then they have these seeds all over so you can't mistake in it. It looks like a strawberry. If you want you can put a bit of a stem on there. They actually grow on long vines so that would be curly. So 
Now when we look at this picture, we have three berries. We have Saskatoons, blueberries, and strawberries. Now let's go ahead down to the next one. And we are going to now draw some squiggly vines. So the vines, if you notice, and there's a lot of vines in Métis artwork and in the beadwork too. And it's always very squiggly and curvy. So let's make that first one like that. And then you can make it a little bit wider. Around and around. And there we go. And then there's this one. It's even squigglier, and you can make it a little bit thicker too again. There we go. And then you'll notice there's another one kind of coming out, almost like a ribbon effect. I love Métis beadwork and designs. And then this one nice and curvy. There we go. And around. Keep going inside. And then this way. So there's our three different kinds of vines we can use in designs later on throughout the lessons. Now finally, let's go ahead and draw the leaves, the leaves and the stems. So let's start with this one. Again, it's a little curvy. You'll notice that it also has leaves on it. So let's, let's draw some leaves. I'm just going to draw the, them this time. You can use the guides if you want. Now, how would you use a guide on this? You would just go straight up with a line and start down there. And then you can use another guide. And then one more leaf. And these, these little spikes on the stem those you can see on stems, if you look very closely, stems, often stems have these little nodules. Sometimes they're fuzzy looking, but in bead, Métis beadwork you always see them. It's part of our design. So when you see it in beadwork and in art, you know that that's Métis beadwork or Métis art. All it's missing now is a beautiful flower on top. Now here's one other kind of a stem. And of course, this one does not have any leaves on it. This comes down, curvy again, and they all match the design. Now you'll notice that these little nodules where the beadwork is, they're right across from one another usually and they go, they follow the stems right down. So this you often would see as a connector piece because in Métis beadwork most of the design connects with all of the design. So that is it now. That is your lesson on how to draw berries, leaves, and stems.